the newest version of Resolve, Resolve 16.2, they added a couple features where they've added some new templates you could do uh, using Fusion. One thing they added was a Fusion Generator template, and then now they also have Fusion Transitions. Now in this video, I'm going to go over how to, uh, basically two different ways to modify the existing transitions and kind of create your own. And then the third way will be a way to create them from scratch using macros within Fusion. But I'm going to start out with showing you the two ways to modify uh, existing Fusion transitions to create your own. The first way I'm going to show how to create your own uh, Fusion transitions is very similar to the way uh, you could already create your custom uh, transitions from what's built in to Resolve under the video transitions. You basically take any of these and create your own preset. And once you make a preset, it'll show up down here under a user category and you'll have a few different presets you make. So let's say I had a Blur Resolve and I was to add that and select it and change any of these parameters. So say if I want to change a vertical strength and have it go through and I like that change, all I have to do is right click on it and click Great transition preset and it gives it a name and I can customize that name if you want right now I'll just leave that so I could just save it as what is all preset click OK now if I come down here under my user I now have the new preset here blur dissolve preset so if I just do delete this one I can now drag and drop this transition and it has the changes in the setting so if I select it here It has saved the change I made in the vertical strength. So now I have my own custom blur dissolve, or I could use the one that's built into it. Now that's just with the regular resolve view transitions, but you could also do the same thing with the built in fusion transitions. So if I was to delete that one, come down here. Now I already did it one with a slice push preset. So I could say take the noise dissolve here and drag that onto my timeline. And you can see here what it does, it kind of comes from the top and dissolves down into the second clip. So if I want to modify that and save it as a preset, I just select it. I can make my change here. So I'm going to go from linear to uni. And that will kind of make it, instead of coming down from the top, it will kind of, kind of just bleed through. You see here in little blobs from different areas. So if I like that change, I want to keep that as a preset. Just right click on it. Click Create Transition Preset and click OK. Now that's added it to my user and that will be able to be used that with any projects I have and I'll save it after I restart Resolve. These will still be here and they'll always be available. And if you don't like any one of these and you want to get rid of it, just right click on it and click Delete Transition Preset. Now it'll delete it for you. Now you could also modify these from the Fusion tab. So you could right click on it once you've added to your one of the Fusion transitions to your timeline here, you can right-click on it, and it gives you the option to open it in the Fusion page. So if I open it in the Fusion page, now here you see it. Basically, they have a group here, which has a fast noise and a dissolve. So I can go click on either one of these, and its parameters will show up here in the inspector, and I can modify any of these. If I say if I want to change the fast noise, so I put that in the first viewer here, so we can see what it looks like. And we change one of the parameters, so I can change the detail here and change that up. Maybe change the scale. And then when we view the transition here, so that changes it up a little bit. So now if I want to save that, I can right click on the group here, because this is basically the transitions right here. It automatically adds in the median one and median two and the media out. So you just right click on the group here, go to settings, and click save as. Now my system by default it goes into fusion settings, but that's not the folder you want. And I'll uh, put the path to the folder in the description. But right now I have it under my quick access in Windows 10. I have it set here. So I can do my effects, generators, titles, and transitions. So I can just go to Transitions. Now this is Noise Dissolve setting. I have one, two of what that I created myself here. So I could just give this a name, say 
Always dissolve too. And click save. Now that saved it to that folder. So if I I'm going to close out of Resolve and open it back up. And I'll be back in a second with the and show you uh, how I added it to the Edit tab. Okay, now I have Resolve open again. And instead of in the under the user presets here, actually under Fusion Transitions, you see the one transition we just created, which is Noise Resolve 2. And I could drag that up. Now that is a transition. And click on it here. And you can see the change I made. To uni and then if I play it through you can see that it saved those differences so now I have two different noise dissolves and I can get rid of this one and put the original one that came with resolve and if I play that through you can see that's a different transition but it's all based on this the original one that's two ways that you can modify the existing fusion transitions by creating your preset or modifying it in the fusion tab and then saving it again with a different name. But that doesn't allow you to modify the what parameters are available under the inspector. If you want to do that, then you basically have to create your own uh, from the Fusion tab using macros. So in the next part of this video, I will show you how to create yours from scratch and add them to the Fusion Transitions menu here in the Edit tab. Okay, now this is the third way where you can actually create your Fusion transition from scratch. And I already made one here by creating a macro in Fusion and then adding it to this menu. I named it Mosaic Dissolve. So I'll demonstrate that here real quick first. It's based on the Dissolve one, but it starts out as Mosaic and then dissolves way to the next clip. So I'll demonstrate how I created that. So we'll come over here, come into the Fusion tab. Now this is where we're going to make the macro. So we'll start off with uh, adding a Dissolve node. So Control Space and start typing in Dissolve. And you can see it right here, Dissolve. So click Add. So I'm adding that in. Now it doesn't really have too many parameters, but I'll show you what to do with them later. And then I'm going to add the mosaic. So again, control space. So type in mosaic. So I want mosaic blur here. Click add. And I connect these two together. Now to test it out, you can take the dissolve basically needs something on the uh, background and foreground. So I'll come here, take one clip up to that. Then I'll second, take a second clip. Now this is just for testing purposes. But I'll add that to the foreground. And then I can put that in the first window here. And basically the uh, parameter that changes is the background foreground here. So if you watch it in that first viewer here, that'll transition from the two different ones. So that shows that's working. And then I can put mosaic blur in the second window here. And you can see the effect that's happening with it. And I can also change that too with the blend. So I know it's use it's working. So now we don't need the me into even in the the node editor here. I can just delete that and I can disconnect the me in. And don't worry about the red. Uh, right now we're just going to be uh, setting up configuring it. So one of the things that might not be too intuitive is that you're not actually going to keyframe anything. The basically the transition engine from Resolve, built into Resolve, will take care of the changing of the parameter gradually from one frame or one clip to the other. That's built into it. So you just have to take the parameter that you'd want to transition, but you want to change within the transition, and you want to set it to a certain value. So I'll show you that here. I'm going to do that both for the Dissolve node and the Mosaic node. So under the Dissolve node, what we're going to be basically having Resolve animate is background and foreground. Instead of doing manual keyframing, right click on it, then we go to modify with, and what you want to do is come down here and choose resolve parameter. And that's kind of how the difference with the uh, fusion transition is, is that it uses this to automatically transition from one clip to the other. So you choose that, and then you don't have to do anything else with that. Now we're also going to be modifying under mosaic blur the blend, 
So do the same thing. Right click on that, go to modify with, then come down to resolve parameter. Now that's basically set up. So basically now you wanna make a macro of these two nodes. So make sure they're both selected. And then right click on one of them, come up to macro, click on create macro. That brings up this dialog and you give it a name here. So I'll we'll call this Mosaic Dissolve 2, the original name, but it's already created one before. And now you want to make sure that under Mosaic Blur, you want the output to be checked and you really don't need anything else. You don't need anything though, but you can change these different parameters. So if you want them to be able to modify it, you choose pixel frequency, smooth strength, border type, blend, and that's pretty much all you need with that. Then you want to come down to Dissolve, and you want to make sure that the background and foreground is selected, because that's where Resolve will automatically connect up Media N1 and Media N2, which will be the left side of the transition and the right side of the transition. And that's pretty much all you need there. So you have it named correctly. You have all your inputs and outputs selected. So you come up to File, click Save As. Now you want to make sure you're in the right folder. Now by default, it'll create it in macros, which is fine if you just want to test it, but you basically want to put it into that folder I showed you before when I did the save as. And again, I'll put that down in the, the description of the video, uh, what folder you want to put it in. Right now I could click on my pre one saved here one, go to transitions. Now I already have one mosaic dissolve, but this will be mosaic dissolve two. So and then I just click save. Now it's save that macro. So I will close out of Resolve here and then come back and show you that in the Edit tab and how to use it. Okay, now I'm back in Resolve. So I'm in the Edit tab here. And if I look at my list of Fusion Transitions, I now have a Mosaic Dissolve 2. So I can drag and drop that in between my two clips here. And I can click on it, select it. So here I have my different parameters. And if I play through it, and you can see it goes through and does a transition. Now, if you want to see what it looks like in the Fusion tab, right click on it, click on Open in Fusion page. Now that shows my macro. Now it automatically adds in the media in one and two. And here it's created it, and here's the different settings. Okay, if you want to modify this, like right now you can't get into the different nodes. But that's because it's a macro right now, so you have to convert it into a group get access to the individual nodes that are inside it. So you can right click on it, go to settings, load. And we'll go back to that folder that was in. You have to find the folder, transitions here. And you want to right click on the macro there, the dot settings file, and click edit. And you want to change this macro operator here to group operator. And then click file, save. And you can close out of that, and then you can close that. And make sure you come back into edit. Select that transition, delete it, and then drag and drop it again. And right click on it, open infusion page. And you can now see that it's a group. And now you can go in and modify the individual nodes that make up the group. And change any primers you want. And when you're done, just if you want to permanently change it, then you'd go under right click, settings, save as, and kind of do the same thing. Save it as in that same spot under edit, transitions, and then save it. And yes, I want to replace it. So now it's saved with any changes I would have made. And if you just want to temporarily change it, then you could just edit it here, use it in your project. And then once you close out of it, then you can use the one you saved before. And so that is the basics of how to both modify and create your own Fusion Transitions in the newest version of Resolve, Resolve 16.2.
and I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments, and I thank you for watching.